Hello everybody, this is XStarKillerX here, back again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Today we are going to be taking a look at Star Pack Arc 5 and giving my personal opinion on the good, the bad and then just an overview of the product itself. Let's get into it. So let's have a look as an overview of the set. So this set contains a box of 50 and um, this boxes will have 3 cards per pack. Now the reason this, you will get one Shutterfoil and two Commons per pack. Um, some of the notable cards in this set are the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon and the Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. Both really, really good cards. And some of the ones you have a lot of Perform Apple cards and with their support. Some Super Heavy Samurai cards and Runei's Pendulum Dragon. So let's get into some of the good points about this box. So some of the good points about this box, um, the shattered foils that you get in the box itself, they are really, really cool, like, like them. Um, you got a lot of the new uh, pendulum monsters in this uh, set as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, you also got a lot of base cards, like polymerization cards like that, so it allows you to build up your deck. Um, it also contains a lot of different uh, types of support, like for the ones for the Super Heavy Samurai and a lot of others, making it great for a huge, huge variety of sets. And also the variation in the Perform Apple cards does make it uh, so easy to be able to create a deck um, a form of Perform Apple if you so desired. Um, so that's yeah, some of the good points there, so let's have a look at the not so good points. So some of the not so good points about this set, um, mainly focuses on pendulum monsters would be my major one as I personally don't use pendulum monsters, so that was one of the downsides for me. Um, some of the other ones, uh, there isn't really any discretion between the Shutterfall and the Commons. The Shutterfalls are all just Shutterfall versions of the Commons, which I thought was a bit of a, a bit of a crock, if I'm completely honest. I thought it'd be all the Commons and the Shutterfall ones would be uh, different cards. But well, I knew they were all that you know a piece beforehand. But personally, I thought they could have done the Shadow Falls as different cards. And also, um, you know, I said there is a, a huge variety. Like I've said, uh, it does seem to focus around Pendulum monsters, which again for me isn't very good. So for my final opinion of this set, overall it is a really really good set. You got a lot of really really decent cards, and the Shadow Fall effect on the cards is really really nice. Um, although, like I said, there is a quite restriction because it does focus around pendulum monsters. So unless you want the pendulum monsters, this is a sort of a wasted set for you. Um, overall, if you give it a score out of ten, due to the fact that this is my personal view, and I don't really use pendulum monsters for me, it has to be about five to six out of ten. Just the fact that most cards in this aren't really much use to me. Okay, so that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to push the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or also most follow me on Twitter, link down below as always. So that's for today. Thank you so much for watching. I've been X Star Killer X, and we'll see you all in the next Yu-Gi-Oh video.